to my channel I hear words of this question 30 and it has to do with um, link mechanism and we're on page 42 of engineering drawing 1 uh, let's read the instruction for us to know what we are to do question 30 it says that the crank OA in the figure rotates uh, clockwise at constant speed and during one evolution around one evolution it moves from C to D and back to C at constant speed if the initial position of the mechanism is as shown in the figure during the locus of B during one revolution of OA OA is 25 millimeters and AB and BC are 75 millimeters so that is what we have there now looking at this diagram that we have here so this is OA this time from year to year is OA so we have this circle the radius is 25 as we are doing the question and the movement is clockwise as we have here so this time from year to year from this center line to this line here where we have point c here we have point d here we have point c here okay so it's 13 millimeters and this is e that is uh, moving on this line uh, cd so this is point b and distance from this point to this point is 62 millimeters from year to year is 50 millimeters so we are going to put all these dimensions together to obtain the locus of point b as we are instructed now the first thing that we need to do now uh, is that we are going to we are going to um draw a center line so a short center line here short horizontal center line like this okay then we draw a vertical center line we draw a vertical center line okay so now i've been drawn this vertical center line so we take a measurement of 25 millimeters to draw the circle so 25 millimeters 25 millimeters here so we put it at this point and we draw a circle Okay, so then we are going to divide this circle into eight equal parts. Divide this circle into eight equal parts. So this is <coughs> all right. So this is center O of the circle, and this is point A, which is also the first point zero. Then it is going this direction. We have point one here, we have two, this is three. So this is point 0.4, this is point 0.5, this is point 0.6, and then this is point 0.7. All right, so now the next thing that we are going to do here is that we need to take a measurement of 13 millimeters down this center. So 13 millimeters down the center. So this is 13 millimeters. So here we draw a horizontal line. So like this. So center line. Alright, so we have this. So the next thing that we're going to do is that so from here, so we need to locate point D and point C. So point D is 62 millimeters away from the center. So this is 62 millimeters here. And distance between point C and D is 50 millimeters. So this is point C here. So here we have this is point D and this is point C here. Okay. So now the next that we are going to do is that we need to divide <coughs> this uh, distance uh, CD. So we divide to a number of equal parts. So I'm going to divide to eight equal parts as divided the circle into eight equal parts. So we draw a line like this. So I'm going to pause the video while I divide the line, which I believe you know how to do. Right, welcome back. Uh, I divided the distance BC uh, CD into eight equal parts, as you can see, and I've numbered from zero to back to zero here so um all right so now as we are told that point e is moving it moves from c to d and then it comes back to e so that's what we are told in the question so this is where we have e so this line is actually so this uh, is e so as we are have, we have in the question now i want to locate point b as we have in the question we are told that um we are told that uh we are told in the question that uh a b uh 
and um, CB, AB and CB, as we have in the question. So AB and BC, sorry, AB and BC is 75 millimeters. So just take a measurement of 75 millimeters here. So this is 75 millimeters here. So we put it at this point. So then we make an arc around here like this. So the same 75. So we put it at this point zero here, which is the starting point, and we make an arc here. So this is the first point B. So this is the first point B. So we join this together. So we join this together. So this is actually a line on which we have E, so not this one. So then we join this together. So this is the first point B here. Now we ask to obtain. So next one, so the same 75, we put it at point 1 here. And make an arc around here. Okay. Then we put it at point 1. Here on this line, I'll make an arc here. So this is the second point B. So I'll just dot it. I'm not going to label it. Okay. So next, so we put at point two here, and we make an arc like this. So then we put the in point at point two, and we make an arc on this new arc here. So this is the new point. B. Then put a three. So we draw an arc. So like this. So then we put it at point three here. That same seventy five. So make an arc here. So this is the new point B. Okay. So then put that four. So make an arc around here. So at 4 on the circle, then we put it at 4 on the line. So we can arc here. So this is the new point B. So we have the new point B here. So the same 75, we put at 5. And we make an arc here. Okay, so then put at 5 on this line and make an arc here. So this is the new point B. Okay. So this is the first one, the second one, third one, and the fourth one. Okay. So the same 75 at 6. So we have obtained 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at 6, so we draw an arc here like this. Then we put that six here on this line, and then we make an arc. So this is the new point six. Sorry, the new point B. Then here we put that seven. So we make an arc here like this. Okay, then we put it at seven here on the line, and here we make an arc. So this is the new point B. Okay, so the next is, so you put it here at zero. Okay, so we have done that of zero before, so we have the point two. Then, so the next thing that we are going to do here is to join the point together with the use of a French curve. So we so you follow it the way it goes. Okay, so around here, we have this point, and we connect this together with this. 
so this is the locus of the point B as we are asked to plot it's as simple as I've done it here all you need to do is to practice thank you and God bless you